Ghana, a gem on the western coast of Africa, is a nation steeped in rich culture, profound history, and a thriving dynamic economy. Known for its resilience and diverse economic activity, Ghana presents a compelling tale of transformation. From the Atlantic coastline to the landlocked Northern Territory, Ghana's economic journey offers a wealth of insight into the nation's past and its future. Today, we embark on a journey that transports us from the gold-filled terrain and cocoa-rich fields of the past to the multifaceted industries of today. Ghana's story begins with gold. Gold has permeated the annals of Ghana's history, right from the times when the country was known as the Gold Coast. The land was blessed with extensive gold deposits, sparking interest from European colonizers and laying the foundation for the economic development trajectory. From the early small-scale mining that was key to rural areas, to the modern, large mining operations run by international companies, the appeal of gold has formed and shaped Ghana's social and economic character. It's no wonder that gold mining has become a substantial contributor to Ghana's gross domestic product, providing employment and stimulating growth in related sectors. In 2020, this metal contributed $1.3 billion to Ghana's GDP. But this gilded legacy is not without its challenges. Gold mining in Ghana especially when you account for multinational corporations with their large-scale operations, comes with profound environmental implications. Excavating the earth and processing gold ore has had severe negative impacts on the Ghanaian landscape and ecosystems. One of the immediate and visible effects of gold mining has been deforestation and land degradation. Large tracts of forest land, rich in biodiversity, are cleared for mining activities. The aftermath often leaves behind a scarred landscape, devoid of vegetation and susceptible to erosion. With the loss of these green-covered areas comes the inevitable loss of biodiversity. In the quest for gold, water bodies have also taken a hit, now contaminated with heavy metals and chemicals like mercury and cyanide, which are used in gold ore processing. While the environmental impact paints a bleak picture, the social implications are equally significant. The profits from the gold mining sector have rarely, if ever, trickled down evenly. According to the Ghana Chamber of Mines, the sector contributed 38.3% to Ghana's gross foreign exchange receipts in 2019. And yet, the Ghana Living Standards Survey states that more than 3.4 million people live in extreme poverty most of whom reside in mining villages. Around two in five Ghanaians manage with under $1.90 per day despite the success of the mining industry, further highlighting the stark disconnect between sector earnings and local prosperity. But parallel to the gold narrative runs another significant thread. Cocoa. Introduced in the 1870s, the cocoa industry has become a defining aspect of Ghana's economic framework, as the world's second largest producer of cocoa, the country consistently achieves an annual cocoa bean yield of at least 700,000 metric tons since 2012. In 2022, cocoa in Ghana contributed 454 million US dollars to the country's GDP, with the crop season yielding 850,000 metric tons of cocoa. Over the years, Cocoa farming has spread across the southern half of Ghana, propelled by favorable climatic conditions and fertile soil, bringing employment opportunities and maintaining the socio-economic fabric of rural communities. But Ghana's economic narrative is not just a tale of gold and cocoa. It's a tale of innovation, reinvention, and diversification. In recent years, Ghana has made concerted efforts to diversify its economy and reduce over-reliance on traditional commodities. This transition has been marked by the rise of service industries, such as finance, real estate, and tourism. Information and Communication Technology, ICT, has surged. 
capitalizing on Ghana's young, tech-savvy population and fostering innovation and entrepreneurship. Thanks to their foray into other sectors, today, the service sector is the biggest contributor to Ghana's GDP, making up 49% of the total GDP. The discovery of oil and gas off Ghana's coast in 2007 added a new dimension to the economy, providing a boost to foreign investment and government revenue. Today, these diversified sectors have positioned Ghana as one of Africa's fastest growing economies. But all this did not occur in isolation. This progress has been significantly guided by sound and pragmatic macroeconomic policies implemented by the government. These policies can be categorized into fiscal policies, monetary policies, and structural reforms. Fiscal policies, which pertain to government expenditure and revenue generation, have allowed the Ghanaian government to make strides in improving public financial management, enhancing revenue mobilization, and reducing fiscal deficits. Monetary policies managed by the Bank of Ghana have been effective in controlling inflation and maintaining exchange rate stability. And structural reforms have helped improve the business environment for ambitious founders, promoting incredible growth and development in the private sector. The synergy of these macroeconomic policies have played a crucial role in Ghana's economic success story, creating an environment for diversified sectors to thrive. Right now, Ghana's economic indicators paint a picture of a nation on an impressive growth trajectory. The country's GDP growth rate has been robust in recent years, with the World Bank noting a growth rate of 3.2% in 2022. Despite the global economic slowdown due to the pandemic, they have handled inflation remarkably well, enabling them to maintain the purchasing power of the Ghanaian Sadi and keep the economy stable. Ghana now stands as one of the fastest growing economies in Africa. With its economic prosperity, driven by flourishing sectors like services, ICT, oil, and gas, along with its traditional powerhouses of cocoa and gold. In this snapshot of Ghana's current economic state, we see a nation harnessing its resources, both natural and human, and embracing innovation and diversification. But while the economic trajectory suggests a promising future, there is certainly a lot to do before we get there. Like all stories of growth and innovation, Ghana is not without its fair share of challenges. Poverty, although significantly reduced, still persists, particularly in rural areas. While urban centers like Accra and Kumasi have seen rapid development, many rural communities still grapple with a lack of basic necessities. Income inequality also persists as a challenge, with the gap between the rich and poor ever increasing by the year affecting factors like education levels and access to job opportunities. The deficits in infrastructure, from poor quality roads to limited access to healthcare, also make the disparities in the population glaringly obvious. Inequality, infrastructure deficits, and the need for sustainable resource management also remain considerable hurdles on Ghana's economic journey. With resources like gold, cocoa, oil and gas being pillars of Ghana's economy, ensuring that these are used sustainably and equitably is crucial. The country struggles with environmental degradation, biodiversity loss, pollution, and the social implications of resource exploitation. If these remain unaddressed, Ghana's steady growth may soon decline. These challenges though considerable, are not insurmountable. In the soul of Ghana, we find a vibrant entrepreneurial spirit, a resilience that pulses in the cities that are rapidly expanding and in the heartbeats of its youthful populace. These are not just elements of growth, but the potent seeds of an economic renaissance. As we look forward, we see a Ghana burgeoning with potential, a nation poised not just to match the rhythm of the world's progress, but to compose its own symphony of economic development and prosperity. The path is laden with promise, 
an exciting horizon beckoning with infinite possibilities. We hope you enjoy today's episode and that it has given you a fresh perspective on the world we live in. If you enjoyed this project, please consider leaving a thumbs up and sharing it with others who might find it intriguing. Your support helps us reach a wider audience and inspire more people to explore the wonders of our world and offer different perspectives. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our upcoming releases. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.